welcome to my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. All right, y'all, we just rolled back in here from Walmart. We did Walmart grocery pickup today. Our total was around $140 for the haul you see behind me. First, I'm gonna share with you my meal plan for the week coming up, and then we did a quick little stop at Aldi's midweek. I have something very exciting to share with you in that haul, and then we'll get to the haul that's behind me here. Our total, did I say it was $140 for this haul behind me? Yeah, I did say that. Okay, enough of that. But anyways, uh, let me just address the elephant in the room because I know y'all can see my eyeball is all swollen. Well, maybe you can't. I don't know. It depends on how big you're viewing my video here. But anyway, uh, ever since I was a little girl, I have had problems with a blocked tear duct in my right eye. And so it causes that eye to become more Come infected more easily so if i get dirt down in there rubbing my eyes makeup in there whatever uh yeah i tend to get a little iron friction so yeah we're working through that usually it takes about a week or so to go away i was going to just uh not be on camera today and just film my groceries and be done but i was like no you know what y'all are my friends and y'all would y'all would want to see my face i imagine so here i am i'm so beautiful <laughs> But anyway, no Southern Mama drama ain't been in no fights. And no, my husband didn't punch me in the eyeball, so Earl ain't got to die today. But anyway, we're going to get on into this. If this is your first time here, my name is Jennifer. I uh, post grocery hauls, meal plans, and what's for dinner videos on this channel every single week. I'd love to have you. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Let's get into it, guys. Alrighty, here is our meal plan for this week. And as always, our meal plan starts out on Saturday. So today, my husband has earned some more delicious baby back ribs from my uncle. He went and did some work for him. So um, that's, just, that's just how that rolls. We appreciate any time we can get my uncle's ribs. They're so good. And oh my God, my husband is a jokester. He's like, I'm going to write that on the, the meal plan board this week. I should have known there was something fishy about that. Sorry, y'all. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so tomorrow is Sunday. I think we're going to take the boys to an apple orchard or something somewhere. So if we have some ribs left over, that's what we'll eat tomorrow night, or we'll just do like every man for himself or whatever. Monday, I found a recipe. Recipe. I found a recipe for taco tot casserole that I want to give a try. It looks delicious. Tuesday is going to be shrimp and sausage jambalaya. Jambalaya. I, I I've always said it jambalaya, but I guess I'm saying it wrong. It's jambalaya. Okay. Wednesday, <laughs> we're going to do takeout. We have our um our pest control uh, feller coming on Wednesday afternoon. So we're gonna get out of the house so he can spray for the, the spiders cause I don't do spiders, I don't do bugs, I don't do crawling things. So, okay, moving on. Thursday, got a cheesy loaded chicken noodle, chicken noodle casserole. A cheesy loaded chicken noodle casserole. That is a mouthful. Goodness gracious, Jennifer. Anyway, I think there's more words in the title than there is actual ingredients in this thing, but whatever, okay. Friday, we're gonna do Brazilian wings with tater tots again. Alrighty guys, the boys and I just got back from Aldi's. We did a quick fill-in haul for the middle of the week because we needed a couple of things. And so, I'm gonna share with you guys what I picked up. Went ahead and got another loaf of sandwich bread because we always run out of bread midweek usually. I got another pack of brown sugar because I'm going to be making a recipe for fall food Friday again. I'm so excited about that. We were running out of tortillas, so I went ahead and got another pack of tortillas there. And I saw this on the um, aisle that always gets me. I needed some more light bulbs, and I thought that that was a really good price for the LED light bulbs, so I grabbed a pack of those. That's four in there. We got one gallon of milk for the milk monsters around here. I'm so excited. I shared on my story over on Instagram when I found these in the store and I had been looking for them for a couple of weeks while well, me and Tiffany over at Our Small Town Life have been looking for these and I could not contain myself. I'm so excited. I don't know which one I want to try first, but it's going to happen here in just a minute. <laughs> so Hayden saw these and wanted some mini marshmallows. So we got those. Needed some more mini chocolate chips. I, I usually like to use the mini chocolate chips as opposed to the normal size chocolate chips. I feel like they spread out better in recipes. Went ahead and got some more flowers. Flowers. <laughs> we went ahead and got some more flour. Aldi does not have unbleached flour, which is what I usually like to get here lately, but just needed flour. So we went ahead and got that. Got a three pound, four, excuse me, four pound bag of sugar here because I was running out of sugar. 
Went ahead and got some more of this everything but the bagel seasoning because I had run out of that. So good on a lot of things. And it's, I don't know if you're not familiar with this. A lot of people are, but um, you can put this on a lot of things. It is uh, sesame seed, sea salt. I don't know if you guys can see. Minced garlic, minced onion, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds. And it's just so good. I like to put it on my eggs a lot of times. So went ahead and got some more butter because, you know, all this bacon going on. We're going through butter around here. Got Harrison some more of his baby food packets here. He needed some more of those. And he tried to eat one in the store. And I was like, no, buddy, we got to wait. Because, you know, I just like to pay for things before I, before I let them devour them. So I don't forget. And, you know. Okay. Moving on, we got two cans of sweetened condensed milk here because I just want to have that stuff on hand for all the bacon we're doing. And then they had pumpkin. So I went ahead and got three cans of that because we've been using a lot of that lately. Got two cans of evaporated milk. That's just to have on hand. And um, one of my sweet viewers had recommend that I go to an authentic Indian store um, to grab my non bread that I need for my pizzas because I know I told y'all on my last grocery haul that Walmart was out of non bread. I am going to have to do some research and find out where my nearest Indian store is um, because I definitely would love to try out some authentic non bread. Um, but for now, my mama just had to grab some at Aldi's, and that is all right. We do what we got to do, right? And then I went ahead and got a bag of mandarins because they were pretty decent priced. If I can get them less than $3 usually, I'm like, okay, give them here. And then last but not least, oh, I've got a puff of flour here. The boys went ahead and got them a pumpkin today. They had some really nice looking pumpkins. So I went ahead and grabbed two, one for Hayden and one for Harrison. And excuse my bar stools on my table behind you there, but... Um, my child uses them as a ladder and gets into trouble. But anyway, so excited about this. Can't wait to stick these on our front porch. And that is all we got at Aldi today, guys. Now I'm going to share with you guys our Walmart haul. Alrighty, you just saw our Aldi haul. And then now here is our Walmart grocery pickup haul that I just got this morning. We've got our white sandwich bread that we always get here for sandwiches and toast. I've got four avocados. This was a substitution. I had ordered the bag of the small ones, and this is the substitution that they gave me, which that's fine. We've got one bag of organic baby cut carrots for snacking, and I think I need that for part of a recipe this week. And then we've got one lime here for a recipe. I've got some more bananas here for snacking. We've got broccoli here for a side or snacking either one. I've got some more mushrooms. That goes in one of the recipes I'm making um, this week. We've got three big old corns on the cob that I'm going to roast in the air fryer tonight with our ribs. And I've got some blueberry puree. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't know what happened here for real, though, because, yeah. I think I'm going to have to take these apart and look at them because I think I see some mold down in there. May have to ask for a refund on them. Mm, anyway. Okay. We've got a bag of cheese puffs here. I've got a bag of nacho cheese, a.k.a. Doritos here. They taste just the same to me. And the boys don't care. We've got three gallons of milk back here, don't we? You like milk? Hey. Hey. Can you blow a kiss and say hello? Oh, my goodness. So it's a weight. Yeah. So anyway, three gallons of milk. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. We've got, we've got two blocks of cheese here. I've got a Colby and Monterey Jack, and I have a mild cheddar. That's going to be, I think both of those are going to be used in recipes. And what's left over, we will snack on mozzarella cheese. Part of that's going to go in a recipe. And then the other half I shred up and put in quesadillas for the boys for lunch because they, oh, and Hayden has been really digging pizza quesadillas lately. That's like all he asks for anymore. Um, I've got um, a bag of medium egg noodles here and that's going to go in one of those recipes I was talking about earlier. Got a bag of string cheese here for snacking. Fiesta blend cheese. I think that goes in the taco top casserole. I've got a block of Parmesan cheese. I'll grate that up. That goes in a recipe. And then back here in the back, we've got two cans of black beans. I needed one for a recipe that I always, I always try to get two if I get them. And then we've got some cream of chicken condensed soup here. I've got the healthy version, if there is such a thing. But anyway, <laughs> we've got some Spanish rice for a side this week and French fried onions. We will be having... 
I think part of this is going to go on a recipe and then the other half I'm going to use on my hash brown casserole that I'm making tonight. Okay, and then for the boys back here, we've got some snack packs. We've got some chocolate and vanilla, so they have some variety. We've got some Great Value Fruit Smiles here for snacks. I've got a couple of Lunchables here. This is the Extra Cheesy Pizza. Um, you know, Harrison really loves pizza, so... And so does Hayden. Who doesn't love pizza? Anyway, so I got those for the boys. I got a pint of half and half here. That's going to go on a recipe. And then I don't know what I really did here. I meant to get two of the smaller size. I ended up with one big and one little. I don't know what I did. But anyway, we've got some sour cream. Uh, <laughs> I've been seeing, uh, I think... Vanessa over at Vanessa White Randomness had mentioned Jessica O'Donohue had started putting um, like sour cream and like instead of milk in her eggs and uh, yeah I totally did that and it is amazing it makes the eggs so nice and creamy deliciousness so uh, but other than that we needed sour cream for other recipes and stuff too so we've got our normal a uh, whole hen house full of eggs here. We will probably go through those in a couple of weeks. Um, we like eggs around here. And then I've got two cases of clear American sparkling water. We got peach and strawberry this week. I've got one pound of lean ground beef for our taco tot casserole. And then for breakfast options, I just got some sausage patties here. They substituted, I got just the original and they substituted the Vermont maple. So I'm not sure what the difference is there, but eh, it's all right. Then I went ahead and got a pack of the turkey sausage here for the shrimp and sausage jam jambalaya. Okay, <laughs> here's the shrimp that I'm gonna be using. This is the raw, uh, medium sized, and they are frozen, so I'll be using those with that recipe. And then we've got our usual cookie dough here that um, the boys really love. Went and got some of these. I don't remember ordering two of those. I'm going to have to look back at my receipt. I'm pretty sure that I only ordered one of these. But anyway, M&M Yo Crunch, vanilla low-fat yogurt with M&Ms. Who could resist? And then I saw these on the app, and I thought they were so adorable. And the boys would love helping me bake those if none of us get burnt in the process. <sighs> Baking around here is chaotic with these boys. So anyway, we've got <laughs> two bottles of our Hershey Sim Hershey Sim five uh, syrup here for chocolate milk got some shredded hash browns here and that's gonna go in the hash brown casserole went ahead and got some more of our favorite buttermilk biscuits um these are really good guys um these are gonna be a, a side for something one night this week we got some more buttermilk waffles because we were out of those I got some more of the Coco Dino Bites with marshmallows here. Um, that cereal is amazing, by the way. And then we've got 40 bottles of purified drinking water here for Jeff to take out on the road when he's out working. I've got a pumpkin waffle candle here um, that I saw, and I was like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I went ahead and added that. And I'm about to light that thing. I actually thought about lighting it when I got in the door, but I didn't. Anyways, okay, <laughs> moving on. We got a, a can of this Sprayway glass cleaner. I love this glass cleaner. It is such a great glass cleaner, and um, it doesn't smell too bad either. And then I got some more of our body wash. This is the one we love, the Dove Cucumber and Green Tea. I needed some quart size bags, so I got the Great Value Double Zipper Bags here. It's just 50 of them in this box. Also needed gallon bags, and I don't know, did I forget to add them? I guess I did. I'm pretty sure I bought them, but I guess I didn't. And then we needed another shower liner for our hall bathroom, so I ordered that. I always just like to replace that every couple weeks or so, freshen it up. And then we've got two rolls of split sheet Walmart paper towels here. These things are great. And then last but not least, we have some Diet Pepsi. Alrighty, y'all, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen here. If so, don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. We would love to have you as a new friend here. Comment down below and introduce yourself. If you have not done so already, I would love to say hello to you. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!